Chapel Podcast, the number one place for everything Tanya. And now your host, Michael Pierce. Hello everybody, welcome back to Papal Podcast. My name is Michael. And I'm Tyler. <laughs> and today we are going to be returning to part two of our Tyler Let's Play. <laughs> Tyler Tanya. Let's Play, is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? Um, so in the first episode, Tyler, you know, we, we played together the first hole of Blue Lagoon. Right now we're on the second hole, and it was kind of your first introduction to the very basics of Panya. Um, and as far as I know, now we're going to do some advanced techniques. Yes, yes. It's the perfect time to start getting in-depth with Panya. So we're literally still here on the course, um, and I am, just for those who want to know, I am Nuri right now, and... Tyler is Aaron. Aaron. So, what we learned in the first one was just the basics, how to just basically, you know, hit the hit the ball and stuff. Sadly, on the second hole, we have eight mile wind, which is terrifying yeah. because it's very, very fast. Nine is the maximum, so eight miles is nearly the maximum wind. Fun. It's gonna push your ball very far. Um, so I would aim it about here, um, but one quote-unquote advanced technique that we're going to learn is ball spin. Okay. So, again, you can control the little blue thing by holding control and an arrow. Okay. Um, or you can just press it with the mouse if you would like. And with spin, if you just do this and do your shot, it will apply spin to it, but it won't make... It, it won't make the ball stop and spin. Okay. So basically, like, there's this thing that you can do where if I do a backspin and I do this, and then after this halfway mark, if I hold down the arrow, you see how it appears? Yeah. Um, if I do that and then hit Panya while doing that, it will do a backspin, which basically, once the ball um, shoots and lands and bounces a few times, it will stop and then roll backwards a little bit. Okay. That's and the cool. same goes for forward spin, but the forward spin um, will, like, bounce, roll until it's stopped, and then start spinning forward a little bit Oh, more. okay, that's cool. Um, and you can do the same with curves as well. So this will just give it, like, a little bit of curve. It's not really noticeable, especially with how low our curve is, but if you do a power curve by doing the panga, and the right or left arrow, it will do like the maximum amount of curve. Okay. So it'll do like a full like semicircle, basically. Um, so I'm gonna try to do a backspin. And one thing I'm actually gonna use here is an item. Um, so you just press I, or you can click that little okay, yep. icon I'll with the one. mouse. Um, and then these are a bunch of the items that I've given us. Uh, the one we're going to be focusing on is this star one. So it's a dual lucky panga. Okay. Uh, so one turn, you su your success rate of hitting a panga shot is increased. So basically, look at the white bar. Yeah. Very, very thin. It's maybe three pixels wide. You use this, and it becomes much bigger. Oh, okay. So it just means it's easier to yeah. hit panga. Um, so I'm going to, again, do that, hit it, and then hold it down straight away. Okay. And you need to hold it down, you can't just press it. Um, and then hit Panya. So let's actually see if I can get this. <laughs> no. <laughs> of course. So if I hit Panya, um, it would bounce, 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 and then stop, and then roll backwards a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, so it's a great way to stop the ball yeah. from rolling too far. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, if you go ahead and use the star, your panga bar gets bigger. Okay. You can hold control. If you want to apply any spin, you have to do this. Because yeah. if you don't, it just won't work at all. Okay. And then get your... Yeah. yeah. I will actually like, go this way a bit. Yeah, aim a little bit. Wind. <laughs> I do love wind. So okay, just so do it without hitting panga first. Just like try to practice shot it. Like, getting the arrow down. Okay. Yeah. Good job. There you go. So you got a power spin. Yay. So you got a panga. Your very first panga. I think you went too low. Oh no! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, <laughs> dolphin! Or a killer whale? <laughs> I went too low? Yeah, because you only hit the power to there, like, look at... Oh, did I? Yeah. But that's okay, because you get another shot, um, and you're actually gonna use... So you're out oh. of the star, so I'm gonna let you use this item, okay. which is a pill. So for one turn, your toggle bar is slowed down for easier club control. Oh, okay. So now this, look how much slower it is. Oh, okay. So it's a lot easier to use. So, okay. there you go. So again, play your spin. Yeah. Good job for hitting it, you actually got it. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, oh, good try. You'll get it. <laughs> it's still hard but for I me sometimes. Panya. You totally had Panya. And right next to me. <laughs> I'm sad. So you can do those spins and stuff everywhere except for putting, obviously. Okay. Um, so I can even do it here. Um, but if you want to apply the spin, you have to get further than um, this one. Okay. So if it's like here, it won't actually apply oh, okay. a backspin. But if it's over here, it, it will. I didn't even mean to go there. That's okay. I was just focusing on the... So I'm just going to try to show you like what a backspin looks like. So you're gonna try and hit Panya? Yeah. Keyword is try. Oops. Let me... <laughs> I didn't quite get far enough. Yeah. Good job. Okay. So you'll see it. Panya, bounce, bounce, stop, and then spin backwards. Oh, okay. But we have very little spin, so it doesn't spin that much. Um, so there you go. So can I putt from here? Like you if can. I wanted to? You can. So you can page down. Page down. And then you see you're already putting. Okay. So um, honestly, sometimes in these situations, it is easier to putt yeah. than to take a shot. Just remember, you are still partially on the fairway. Yeah. Um, which means that you just have to do just a tad bit m more. Yeah. More power. So that, if that's ten yards, see the only the only problem with putting yeah, 10 off it, there, yeah. yeah, putting off it, it won't show you where that green bar is. Yeah. That's usually there. So ten, yeah. If that's twenty and that's forty, yeah. that would be about ten there. <gasps> oh, oh, so it hit the rim. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead. So this is, is sloping to, down. Yeah. Is it hard to putt when it's that close? Um, it just depends, really. Yeah. Like, do I pretty much have to like press it instantly? Press it instantly. Like me. Good yeah. job. Double pokey. It's because I fell in the water, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once you get an OB, it takes two. Like it adds two to your score. So yeah. It's okay. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so we're on hole three, which is the last hole. Okay. Um, and I'm going to teach you one of the most like vital things to this game, and yeah. something that like separates it from most golf games is the power ups. So two things. Number one, um, you can see this bar up here. Yeah. You're probably wondering what that's for. You have didn't even notice it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have three bars, right? Yeah. Um, the yellow fills up, and once it gets to one, it turns red. So you can kind of see that you have like three possibilities of getting a power up. Okay. For that, um, you can also get a power up straight away by using pretty much any red item. Okay. So like these two give you power ups. This one fills one up straight away, and um, I'll tell you a bit about that one later. Um, but so right now, if we tried to power up with all. I can't do it because I don't have the power shot. Yeah. Um, you get that by just hitting. If you miss Pena, it will give you a tiny little bit. If you hit Pena, it will give you quite a bit. Okay. So, um, apparently I've hit Pena long <laughs> more than you. Apparently. Um, so, we're just going to use a power potion. Okay. So that powers me up straight away. So that adds, that actually adds, you can see, adds 10 yards to my thing straight away, which is nice. Um, but there's special shots you can do in okay. power-up mode. Um, so there's three 
mm, sort of four special shots. So the first one, the basic one, is just you hit Pangya and it's a super Pangya. It's just basically Pangya, but you have the ten yards added, so it helps you a little bit. Um, the first, uh, like actual special shot, is Tomahawk. And I'm sure you've seen this in like trailers and stuff. It basically makes the ball go on fire. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Um, so it makes the ball go on fire and it lands and explodes, so it won't bounce at all. Oh okay. Um, and that's used like all the time, especially for hole in ones, because you want it to stop just around the hole, yeah. and then you backspin it in, because you can combine these with oh, backspin, okay, cool. curve, and forward spin. Um, so to do a tomahawk, you have to do these keys. So it's like the spin, but you have to do up and down oh, okay. for tomahawk. Um, so if you wanted to do a spin as well, it would be up, down, and then hold down. That is... Yeah. That is confusing. <laughs> well, not confusing, but... And you have to of... tap it. Yep. That's what I was saying. Like, for spin, you have to hold. And it goes, like, the bright blue. For tomahawk, you have to do that okay like straight away um so tomahawk is up and down there's a second shot that is called cobra and basically it shoots the ball really low to the ground it like follows the ground for a bit oh, okay and then after it's reached like a certain distance it shoots straight up into the sky and then lands mm. like bounces so it's really good there's some parts so like even here for example i could shoot it and it would go through these trees and then like go up and then land. Oh, okay. That type cool. of thing. Um, and it's really good for going through. There's some like caverns and stuff in some things. You can go like under ships and stuff like that. So that's a really good trick shot. That's cool. Um, and to do that, it's there and right up. So I kind of remember it as Tomahawk is up and down because it goes up and then down. Yeah. Cobra is right and up because it goes right and then up. Yep. And then the last one is Spike, which is basically a Cobra, but it goes really, really high up halfway, does this like transformation thing, and then shoots down. Okay. And like it spikes down, kind of like, yeah, like, know, volleyball. You, like volleyball. Um, so it's like a com combination between Tomahawk yeah. and uh, Cobra in a way. So we're just going to try to do a Tomahawk. Um, oh, and, and the spike one is right down, okay. because it goes right down. So I'm going to do the tomahawk. So even if you miss, you will hit it. It just means it will be very curved. Yeah. So there, and then it explodes. That's cool. Yeah. So that's that. Um, so you can choose whichever shot you want to okay. try, but first you have to hit I for the power-ups. Hi. And get one of those. And... So each character has their own like animation. Oh, okay. It looks really cool. Um, so are you going to Tomahawk, Cobra, or Spike? I'll do Spike. I'll try to yep. do Spike. So it's right down. Right down. I remember okay. tap it. So like, okay. And then try to hit Pena. You have oh. to do it after oh, this okay. halfway. <laughs> yeah, I think you held it. It says you held it the right area a bit. It's okay. You can try again. <laughs> so you got some overdrive pang at least. <laughs> what is that? So that just means you went further than the distance your club was set to. Oh, okay. So each yard you go further, you get one pang. Oh, that's cool. So, um, but that's only on the first shot of each hole. Oh, okay. Um, so I can actually show you some of the other things um so for tomahawk you can do it on pretty much anything except for the putter obviously yeah. you can't do any power-ups on the putter um but with cobra and spike you have to do it with three wood two wood or one wood okay so they're like long distance ones yeah. um but i can still do a cobra so i'll show you what that looks like oh you did a spin as well oh and it hit that but it basically does that anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nearly went straight into the hole. But that's a Cobra. And then you can try a spike. So I need to use your power up thing, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you have to go to at least a three wood for spike. Okay. Keep three wood, three wood. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
and then it's right down. I just want to... You're obviously going to hit way further, but it doesn't matter. It's just oh. practice anyway. I don't want to hit further. I want to win. <laughs> you want to do the tomahawk? Then? I want to do the tomahawk. Okay. You can use a iron for tomahawk. This is 150 yards, and you're at 130. So you might want to go. Yeah. Okay. So, so just up, up down. down. Okay. And remember, just like try. very tapping. Good job. Yay! Your first tomahawk. And it went very far. <laughs> Why did it go so far? Because your your thing was set at 150, but it's also a power shot, so oh. it's going to go like pretty oh. much 10 years. Why didn't you tell me that? I did. You did you? <laughs> oh. Wow. Well. Um, yeah, I can even... I can do a few things. But I'm actually... Just while we're here, I'm going to show you a few more of these items. So, okay. this green one is... Basically maxes out your spin to 30, which is, like, the top spin that you can get. So it means that if you do a successful spin, back spin or forward spin, it's going to spin really far. Okay. Like, it's going to go quite far. The curve... The banana one is the same thing, but for curve. Okay. So you can go really far curve. So I'm just going to try to show you this. Only out of six iron. I'll try to do it. Um, I'll try to do it here. Uh, guess I'll do it here. Sure. But you can see like how far that is going already on there. It's yeah. gone straight to the top. Let's try that. Nope. <laughs> I screwed that up. But even still, it's gonna like roll a bit more, but that's fine. Um, I'll show you the curve. Okay, nice. You can see it really curves that way. Yeah. And oh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't work. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just trying to teach you. It's a competition. No! <laughs> And, um, and yeah, this milk carton basically just gives you... See, you can see I have a power-up now. Yeah. So you just press Alt once you have a power-up. Um, so if I go to wood, so you have one, right? But if you use this, I've got two now. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, and if you have two power-ups, you can do a double power-up by pressing it twice really quick. Terrifying. Yeah. So this like has like a separate animation and it looks really cool. So instead of what is it, two thirty four, a normal one is two forty four, and then a double is two fifty four. Okay. Gives you twenty yards extra. Same type of stuff, tomahawk power like, curve and stuff like that, but you just have twenty yards instead of ten, and a really cool animation. So I'll try to do a spike here, just to show you what that looks like. So it goes really high up, transforms, and then spikes down. That is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> very, very cool. Um, so yeah, and then I'll show you what that item is. That one is a putting item. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah. And... Oop. Um... Yay! <laughs> so I'm definitely going to lose this, but that's okay. I mean, I'm pretty bad. <laughs> so you can even see win. the whole beam goes grey once you're past bogey. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So like, it kind of tells you visually that mm, you're not doing too well. Um, sure. That'll be fine. your shot now. <laughs> Finally. Finally. <laughs> I got <couldn't> give up. <laughs> so now it's all my turn. Now it's all your turn. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. So you can actually use the PW here, because it's only 30 yards. So yeah. Good job. 
rude. Good. So for this, use your item. My item. I and go to the like I? yeah the I thing. That shows you the path. Oh okay. Um, but it's so very, it's timed. Like yeah. See, it fades away yeah. after a bit. Okay. So those are extremely useful, especially for really slope stuff, just to get a general idea. Good job. There you go. Thank you. Pa, Hattlebird. Hello, Hattlebird. So beautiful. The Hattlebird matches my hair. Yes. Kind of. Who won? Two. Oh, you won. <laughs> Yay! Only because you gave me a pity win. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, we learn. Yes. So, yeah. That was your first ever three holes of Panga. Yay. What'd you think? I thought it was good. I liked it. Yeah. Did you learn a lot? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I know why it looks so technical. Yeah. Because it kind of is. So, like, a lot of that stuff you can combine. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of things. And, of course, like, with the wind, with the different course elements, and, like, all this stuff, you can get really, really technical with this game. But if you just want to play and yeah. just want to have fun, it's really good for that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to return it in another video and play our next three holes on a brand new course. Yay! I can't wait. And you can use everything that you've learned. In a Without real guidance. competition. <laughs> in a real competition, yes. Um, I can't so, wait. So, yeah. Join us next time when we play through that. Um, and actually, let's, let's just do a little preview. What is the next course going to be? So, what came out after Blue Lagoon... By the way, Blue Water and Blue Lagoon, exactly the same course. The only difference is Blue Water has more trees. Oh. So there's more obstacles to get. Like, if you hit a tree, your ball basically just stops Drops. and falls to the ground. Yeah. Um, so they're pretty much the same. There's a, there's a few courses that are kind of like that. Yeah. Um, like, Blue Moon is basically Blue Lagoon, but it's played backwards. Oh, okay. And it's at night time. Oh, okay. So, like, where what we played, where the T and the hole are, I switched. the hole is now the T and oh, the T okay. is now the hole. Um, and it actually changes it quite a bit yeah. by switching it around. It does feel very different. Um, but they are visually basically the same course. Um, uh, so, Wind Hill and Sepia Wind, same type of thing with these two. Yeah. Wind Hill is just basically Sepia Wind, but with, like, more trees. And okay. I think higher wind, like the wind changes to higher values more often or oh, something. Okay. Um, and yeah, is there any course that you're like curious about? Like um Shining Sand and Deep Inferno look just from their icons look kinda cool. Yeah. So Shining Sand is like this Egyptian like yeah. desert course. It's got really cool music and it's really beautiful. It's like one of my favourite courses um, because it, as you can maybe see here, it actually has like UFOs. Oh, they're okay. like encased in like the ancient yeah. UFOs. Well, everyone encased knows in, like, yeah. the pyramids were away. And the pyramids are like all papples and dolphins oh, really? and stuff. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> That's cool. Um, so they'll like float and hover, and there'll be like obstacles in your way and stuff. And there's sand everywhere. So like the whole thing is like a bunker. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to go there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Deep Inferno is very, very hard. As you yeah. can see, it's like, what? One, two, three, four, five stars. Good counting. Which there. I think is the highest stars I mean, in the game. What yeah, I can see. yeah. Um, it's just, it's more or less hell. Like, yeah. Like, beautiful. That's Kaz's Amazing course, music. Yeah. yeah, that's Kaz's courses. Yeah. But there's lava everywhere. Love it. Which is like, basically water hazard. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of slopes, there's a lot of rough, and it's just, yeah, it's it's also a very big course, so you really need quite a lot of power. Okay. Um, but I would say, honestly, not the hardest course. Yeah. The hardest course is Sylvia Cannon. Okay. Absolutely, like, oh, unanimously that, uh, agreed. Oh, Cecilia's boat? It's Cecilia's Navy yeah. boat. You play on the boats. That's cool. Um, you're on the sea, and you're, like, playing it. Because everyone knows, Navy boats need golf courses obviously obviously, obviously. but it, we will be playing through that eventually oh, yeah. it's awfully hard yeah. because not only have you got all these obstacles you have to avoid these planes and helicopters and like you have to avoid you know not going off the freaking other boat and like rolling into the water but you also have these cannon these like giant cannon beams on some of the boats in some of the holes yeah. they charge up and shoot a giant beam that controls the wind direction and speed 
So we'll That's just cool. change the wind that is so cool. direction and speed I at a snap that. of a finger. And it, while it's like blasting, it will see that wind, and then once it stops, it changes back to the normal wind. Ooh, that's really so, cool. So, like, the whole story behind it is that they, they've, like, managed to control wind and control nature. They so, control like, the weather. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, there's lots of things, but we'll, we'll get through it all. Um, I think the next course we're going to be playing is... I'm guessing it's another one-star course? Uh, mm, not necessarily. No? Some of the courses... I'm trying to remember the order yep. of, like, how things came out. I think it was Blue Lagoon. Don't get this wrong or you'll be crucified. <laughs> I think it was Blue Lagoon, then Wind Hill and Sepia Wind, um, and then there was... Oh, yeah, Wiz Wiz. Oh, gosh. These are all re- really hard courses. And then there was White Wiz, and then there was West Wiz. And then there was like, oh, then there was blue, blue moon and pink wind and ice cannon. But we go through all the one stars, then all the two stars. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll do that. Yeah, okay, because it's it's yeah, it's a lot, but we'll do that in yeah. the next episode. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, I hope guys. you're enjoying these series, and uh, let us know what you think below. Let us know if you've got anyone in your life that you want to do the panya <laughs> let's play with because <laughs> you just like, absolutely do it yeah spread spread the panya <laughs> yeah get it trending get it trending guys <laughs> get it trending blow this up okay <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode so thank you so much for watching and until next time we'll see you on the greens bye you guys <laughs>